Coming up is a story of the oldest still existing RV company on History on Wheels. With History on Wheels, I'm Dave Dufour here with Al Hesselbart, the historian here at the RVMH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. How are you doing, Al? I'm doing wonderful today. That's great. That's great. We are looking at uh, an a an Airstream 1958. And what's the what's the uh, brand name of this or the the model name? The model name. This is a Flying Cloud, which designates that it has a certain floor plan and it's a 22 foot travel trailer. Okay, 22 foot is, yeah, that was their flying cloud model. But uh, of course Airstream's iconic in the uh, RV industry and in the, you know, in the, in the world of RVs and it makes, uh, it makes for great conversation almost anytime you see one of these old ones going down the road too, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does to the point that almost all bright silver RVs are first identified as Airstreams, even though many of them are not, mm -hmm. simply because this company's been around since 1932 and been making bright polished aluminum trailers since 1936, mm -hmm. which are both are much older than anybody else today. Now they did take a little bit of a break for a, for a short uh, four-year event in the 40s, right? Yeah, all their customers and employees went to Europe and, and the South Pacific for a little while during the early 40s, and material rationing that the government imposed during the war said they couldn't get their building materials. Aluminum was not available. Mm -hmm. So they took a hiatus during the war at which their specialists worked for Lockheed and other airplane companies. So uh, and 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 including uh, the the uh, founder of uh, of Airstream, you were telling us a little bit earlier, who went to work for one of the airline companies because he knew something about aluminum. Because he knew something about aluminum and aluminum fabrication, yeah. and because he needed a job. That's right. Okay, well, we're going to come right back in just a second, and you're going to tell us a little bit about what's inside this uh, unit. And uh, so, stay with us here on History on Wheels. Today's show is brought to you by Angie's List, where you'll find thousands of unbiased reports and reviews about service companies in your area. Whether you're looking for a roofer, plumber, house cleaner, dentist, or even a doctor, Angie's List members share their experiences with each other so that you can choose the service company that's right for your job. Companies can't pay to be on Angie's List, and the reviews come from people just like you who have had experience with the companies mentioned. To find out more, go to rvnn.tv and click on the Angie's List ad. Okay, we're uh, here at the RVMH Hall of Fame looking at a 1958 22-foot Airstream travel trailer. Tell us a little bit about some of the interior amenities on this museum piece. One of the amazing things about this unit, even though it's over 50 years old, is that its appliances and its layout are very much like brand new units sold today. Mm -hmm. It still has a refrigerator, a stove, a bathroom, a shower, all of the appliances that we come to expect today are here in 1958. The layout is comfortable. It has a convertible sofa bed. It has a comfortable dinette. And it just very much like the smaller travel trailers that we see today. Of course, most travel trailers today are in the 25 to 35 foot and have more room mm -hmm but don't have any more comforts than this one. But uh, Airstream was, of course, being one of the oldest companies out there, was a, pretty, was a pioneer in making the best use of space possible, weren't they? Very much so. They were well known for fitting things together for the best use by the occupants. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is this kind of a trailer has become uh, internationally known. Of course, and in, in fact, I think some some folks that when they think of an RV or travel trailer, this is the picture that comes into their heads. V very much so. Yeah, it's it's a generic identity for many travel trailers. Plus, it's still design-wise the way the frame and and structure works is still one of the nicest towing trailers available. And of course the streamlining helps that too, doesn't it? Certainly does. Certainly wind resistance is uh, 
minimized by the shape somewhat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it obviously, the aircraft connection is there as well. Very much, yeah. The riv riveted aluminum, not welded seams, all of these different parts go together to make up Airstream what it is. Well, uh, thanks for joining us here on History on Wheels today, and thanks for showing this this uh, antique. Uh, although, really, uh, it, for Airstream, uh, an antique Airstream looks an awful lot like a brand new one, doesn't it? It does, and just because of that, we say vintage and not antique. Oh, that's true, yeah, right. It, yeah. It's just an experienced unit. Yeah, you really only have one real antique here in the museum, and that's the really, the hundred-year-old one down there. At the, if you count, if, if antique means hundred years old, then that's about the only one you have here for that. But we're a we're hundred years this year. All right, uh, well, thanks for joining us here again, and uh, we'll see you again next time on History on Wheels. like this from the world of RVs, head to RVNN.tv.